Hi, this is tomato red roasted red pepper soup. Uh, first of all, we diced up our onions, um, have our pan nice and hot. We're going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil, or um, my new thing that I found is avocado oil. Then we put our onions in and let them saute until they are um, a little soft. And with that you can put a little uh, salt and a little pepper in with them just to give them some more seasoning. And it shouldn't take, take takes about maybe two or three minutes to get them to be just a little, uh, little soft, a little caramelized. Any caramelization that you have on your um, food adds to the overall flavor of the food. Now into that we can also add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. This you can buy at any of uh, your local grocery store. It just adds the gain to the flavor of the soup. It gives you overall um, herbs and a little bit of red pepper in there. Um, it's been my really go-to now for making Caesar salad croutons. Okay, so that looks really good. We're getting some color on that. Now, what we do is we put in our red peppers. And again, I cut those into pieces. They're roasted red peppers. I get them at my local store. Um, normally in the deli section, they have really good um, peppers, roasted red peppers there. And I will also put in at this time some minced garlic. You don't want to put your garlic in with the minced garlic um, paste in with your onions because it has a tendency to burn, which would cause an, uh, an acid, an, an, not an acid flavor, but an, uh, a burnt flavoring to your food. Um, and you let that go. And into this you add three cans, three of the large cans of, I use diced tomatoes. And tomatoes have a lot of acid into them. Sometimes it bothers people's stomachs. So what uh, what I tend to do is once I do this, a little brown sugar will offset the uh, the acid of the uh, tomatoes and make it a little easier for people that have heartburn and things. Plus it adds a nice uh, um, caramelized flavor as well. So that's two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar. Now the last ingredient I use is tomato paste. Normally about half of a can of tomato paste or a good three, four tablespoons. Um, it adds to the robust tomato flavor in the soup. Don't be worried about seeing the charred little pieces of red pepper in there. Once we use the emulsifier blender um, it will all be chewed up and then we can, uh, we also use a strainer to make the soup a little more velvety. So this is going to cook for a little bit and um, I will come right back to you. So we're back. Um, the soup has been um, simmering on low, medium to low heat and then to low um, for a good 30 minutes and you'll see how it's uh, increased in the thickness, the, the viscosity of it has, has gotten 
firmer. So now we're going to shut off the heat. We're going to bring it over to the board and we're going to taste it just to make sure seasoning and everything is really good. Yes. Okay, so that was good. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use an emuls emulsion blender and we're just going to put it in the pot and we're going to emulsify it. And my trick is you basically raise it up and then raise it down so you don't s send it all over your kitchen. Like that. And what you want here is a nice smooth consistency. So this will take a little bit. But please take your time in doing this. This is a very important step. It needs to be smooth. Um, the tongue feel on to it should be like a velvet. Okay, so now you just tap your emulsifier and blender off, your hand blender, and put it in sink. Unplug your tools. Now, the next step is to get all the seeds and most of the little black spots out of the soup. Now, how we do that is we do it with a sieve. So basically what you do is you have two bowls. Main bowl is for um, straining your soup and it's done quite easily. You just put your soup in and you'll hear it going down through the to the bottom of the, the bowl. And what I found is tapping, by tapping it on the edge of the bowl, you allow it to go down through the sieve. And you can watch that going down through. You can use the pot as well. Now you'll see all of these seeds and everything that are in the bottom of this. This adds to uh, basically not a great feel in the mold. So, we just take those out and put them in your second bowl and give it a little tap. And that's all the um, seeds and hard bits that you, that you don't want in your soup. So you continue to strain it until you have the whole pot done. I use this straining method on all the soups that I make, like butternut squash, um, carrot and ginger, um, anything that you want it to be velvety smooth.
So it does take a little bit to get down to the bottom of the pot, but once you're there, I've already had to take some out of my bowl be er, and put it in a pot because it was just uh, getting too much in in the bowl. So that is, you get a fair bit of seeds and hard stuff, and we'll just put this into the pot now, and use our old handy dandy wooden spoon. The bottom of the bowl sometimes gets very hot. Okay, and wash up my area here. Keep it nice and clean. And there is your tomato red pepper, roasted red pepper soup. Sir, you can serve it with grilled cheese sandwiches or you can serve it just with crackers. Thank you.